Well, we've had a lot of small fires, you know, quarter acre, tenth of an acre, an acre or two acres. 20 acres up against Woodside and Redwood City into the heavy material, you know, of woodland. Yeah, we haven't had that in probably 40, 50 years. Uh, some of this material hasn't burnt since back in the 50s. And so we're seeing fires that we haven't seen in a long time. We've had a shaded fuel break along the south boundary of Edgewood County Park, uh, working in conjunction with PG&E and San Francisco Water Department, or San Francisco PUC, uh, and the park. Uh, about 12 years ago, we put in the Edgewood shaded fuel break that protects the Rocky Road area and the Colton Court area and the edge of the park. And then it was redone about three, two or three years ago, uh, it was uh, re-cleared. And uh, by combination of grants and PG&E doing the work. I wasn't out here yesterday, but my understanding is, is the fuel was modified. I, the fuel would have been where the fire was burning, where the 20 acres was burning, uh, would have had a lot more fuel to burn into would have had a lot of more dead fuel that we eliminated by clearing it and burning it in piles uh, years ago. So I, my experience is that that fire would have been altered um, without that clearing. We had high temperatures. We got up to 102, 103 at the Polgus station on the other side of 280. Uh, humidity got down to 10%. Uh, extremely dry for June. Uh, this is the first day of summer. Uh, extremely hot for the first day of summer. What we didn't have were high winds. The winds might have gotten a gust up to eight. If we had the prevailing winds that we've seen over the last couple of weeks, where they were up in the 20 and 25 gusts, uh, this would have been a whole different uh, story. Uh, we might not have had the humidities and, and the temperature, but if a fire had started then, this would have moved a lot quicker. We had spread rates that were described as slow rate of spread, maybe some that got into moderate, we might have gotten into some moderate to high, which would have been different for controlling. Well, we've been taking fuel moistures out here for about 40 years. Uh, the fuel moistures now are in historical lows, which tells me that we have a lot more dead fuel and the fuel, even the live fuel is dry, a lot drier than it normally is. Right now we should be seeing some peak fuel moisture is where we're at the end of the spring and we've had a lot of growth. We're seeing a lot less growth. In fact, we're seeing a lot of dead brush that should be green brush right now. And so even some of the coyote bush is actually dying off and receding. Uh, so we have dead material where we used to have green live material. We're in very dry conditions and a lot drier than most people that live here have ever seen and most people that are fighting fire have ever seen. Uh, these are very bad conditions. They, like we had the evacuations here yesterday, they need to be able to get up and go and get out of the way so they're away from the fire. Uh, if this had gotten into the community, this would have been a whole different story.